So how many times? In 10 sex. How many times? I thought you're serious on me. But you're cheating, lying. You're how talking. How have known that we're having sex the whole time? Because if I really feel like I'm crazy. On 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days, Tiger Lily was getting frustrated at her wedding with Adnan because she was trying to change into her second look. Only she couldn't because there were other men in the room. Is this how it is in Muslim culture where women are just supposed to wait and this is their place below the man? Guys, I can't change. It's moments like this that make me think this is what our future as a married couple will look like. And that will definitely not fly with me. Can you do that? Can you do that out there? But it all worked out, and she had something wild to say about her love for Adnan. Even though there are some things that we need to work on, I know that Adnan is the love of my life. When the love is there, then there's not going to be anything that would be a deal breaker. Like, if I found out that Adnan was like a serial killer or something, as long as he didn't want to like turn me into a skin suit, then that would be okay. We would find a way to stop his serial killing because I love him. Ingrid is still reeling about what she learned about Brian's past, and she's not sure she wants him to meet her son just yet. Eu percebo que o Brian tá sendo verdadeiro, mas eu tô com a cabeça assim muito confusa. Tenho que pensar mais antes de apresentar uma pessoa que eu vou é, ju falar para os meus filhos que são meu parceiro. Ai, bem que isso. Que é a minha casa. Tava esperando desculpas do Brian esconder o passado dele, mas não procurou se explicar ou em. Obrigada. Nada. Ah, no ponto que tem, eu não sei se a gente consegue botar o nosso o passado para trás e a gente consegue seguir adiante com esse relacionamento. He ended up apologizing and bringing presents, which seemed to win her over. Amei as flores, uh, eu amo rosas. Mas eu fiquei realmente emocionada que ele trouxe presente para os meus filhos. Foi foi legal, foi bacana a atitude. Mas não quer ir para mim? Deixa em volta. Bem. Eu já pensei muito isso e eu acredito na, na redenção, né, das pessoas. Eu tô preocupada com Não, essa... Não, fica, fica tranquila. Com essa calçada aqui, ó. Vamos ver, relaxa. Então, apesar das coisas que, né, do passado dele, eu ainda me disponibilizo, sim, a apresentar ele pro Arthur. Niles is on his way to Ghana to be with Matilda. But she's worried about how he will adapt while there. A lot of people in Ghana doesn't understand autism. And some people believe it's a curse. Niles told me that he's high sensitive. He don't like noise. And he can become overwhelmed easily. So I'm worried that when Niles comes to Ghana, it's going to be hard for him. Renee apologized to Chidi over what happened at the market but she expressed that she wants him to be more affectionate with her. I understand where you're coming from, but I really honestly would like affection. That's all I'm asking. Here, yeah, I promise to be more affectionate. So you can count on me, <laughs> right? Yes. Mm, thank you. I'm not a sex crazed person. I didn't come all the way over here just for that. I came all the way over here to feel the love from Chitty specifically. So him telling me that he's going to start touching me more and rubbing, like cuddling, that's all I want. Later, she made some comments about his blindness that left him pretty concerned. When I met Chitty, after he told me he was blind, I felt kind of relieved, like, oh my God, I don't have to be so self-conscious anymore. It allowed me to feel closer to him than anybody I had ever been with. It's crazy how it happened with him losing his eyesight on two different incidents. I definitely don't think that's no coincidence. I think something spiritual happened to him that made him lose his sight so that we could come together. It's just adding up to like the perfect thing. You believe that I was brought here by God himself as a miracle. 
because your blindness is just not a normal occurrence. I mean, we've all been smacked in the face countless times. Oh. And... <laughs> <laughs> well, um, of course, I believe. Honestly speaking, Renee's interest in my condition is one of the things that makes me love her the most. But she says bizarre and weird things like that my blindness is for a purpose, which is outlandish and um, kind of insulting. Sometimes it seems like she lives in alternate reality. Lauren is getting candid about how he plans on dealing with what he thinks is an STD. So it turns out I can kiss Faith and give her gonorrhea. So good thing we haven't done that yet. So after getting the text that my friend in Las Vegas has gonorrhea and the fact that I've been having gunk spew out of my penis, I'm like, well, this all makes sense now. So the person who gave me this, this fun little gift told me that her treatment just started and the doctor said seven to 10 days. So I assume it'll be the same for me in like a week, week and a half, we'll be hunky-dory. Because gonorrhea has a treatment, and it's curable, and people get it all the time, like, for me, it's not a big deal. He finally came clean and confessed to Faith, who was shocked and upset. Um, when you got this kind of, you know, disease? Remember I sent you the picture on Halloween of the girl from Thailand? Oh, I thought you were good talking and helping her. I did. So she spent the night. With you? Yeah. Then do you have sex together? Yeah. So never expected for that. So what did they say to you? They said, I have gonorrhea. Mm -hmm. And that means maybe you have it too, so you need to get checked before I give to somebody. And I said, oh my gosh. I'm so shocked. We are here dating for how many months? Online. Yes, online. Well, I haven't met you yet. It don't count as cheating until I meet you, right? Yeah. She's still cheating. You think because so? Because we are talking about you go here to meet. You know, that part is cheating. You think so? Yeah, I know. Okay. It's cheating. Six months of chatting together with Lauren, I thought that, you know, he is so faithful on me in our relationship. I know that he sleep at other houses, but he never told me that I'm sex with the other girls. And I was never suspicious because I trusted him. That really hurts. Faith felt betrayed, and Lauren is worried about their future. I really messed up. We're probably breaking up. I feel bad that Faith is so hurt. And, you know, I'm realizing that I should have been clearer from the start. She sees what I did as betrayal and I don't know what I can do to make it right.